The thing I don't get about vaccine passports, quite apart from all the moral and civil liberty and legal aspects, is I don't understand why anyone thinks we need vaccine passports if everyone's getting the vaccine. And if the vaccine works, and we know it does, and we know loads of people are taking it, why on earth do we need vaccine passports to prove everyone's had a vaccine? I mean, I think that's one of the big questions. Something that Chris Green hit upon, the MP, was whether uh, a pub that couldn't uh, open without social distancing would do worse business. I think there's another question of you might get a situation where if they self-choose, you know, they self-select whether they have the COVID passports at the door. Some people might think of pubs that don't as being less safe which could also damage their business if you have that sort of disparity. Mm -hmm. So I think that if people can, if places can pick and choose it, you could have maybe reputational damage to some that, that don't go for the COVID passport. Uh, well, for me, my, th my thing is that it's not a choice. If you're told you can't make, you can't basically break even if you've if you've got uh, if you've not got the vaccine passport system uh, you're going to go under then that, that's not a free choice that's basically put a gun to the head of every publican let's bring in peter dowd on this he's a labor mp for bootle he's also a former shadow chief secretary to the treasury and joins us good morning to you peter morning good morning now we're told that uh keir starmer is very likely to uh, uh whip his mps to vote against a vaccine passports measure we know there's also you know at least 40 tory mps we've got the liberal democrat mps uh, however many they've got this week about five or I mean, f three who knows um and uh, of course the question mark is what the smp do as well but um if they did vote against this on, on what basis would they be doing so because we're still hearing a sort of they want to see the detail they know they need to know what what they'd be used for and what basis they'd be uh, they'd be brought in. So we're not still 100% sure on what basis Labour would vote for or against vaccine passports. Do you know? Well, I, look, I, I take a view that um, passports, certificates, call them what you will, ought to be compulsory. Um, and it's fairly, fairly straightforward. But I do recognise, for me, there are complications you've just touched on a few of them on a few of them there but i think on balance i don't think that we should have statutory or compulsory rather uh, certificates stroke passports to but that's that's whatever. not the only issue is it because the government are saying well it's not necessarily compulsory but they wouldn't stop businesses from doing this now of course we know perfectly well the government is well yeah. within its powers the extraordinary uh, authoritarian powers they've taken for the last year uh, able to stop businesses from discriminating against people based on uh, health grounds they were they were able to do that but if this is effectively coerced as we've just been discussing with Benjamin but you know by the back door as in well you know you're not forced to do this Mr Pub but you ain't going to make a profit and you'll have to shut down in a month's time if you don't because you won't be able to get enough customers in the door with social distancing then then that is to all intents and purposes not just compulsory on the publican it'll be compulsory on the punters as well well I, and i sort of understand that and i that's the point i'm making in some regards for me it's fairly straightforward you shouldn't do it but there are complications around it for example we we, we have uh, an insurance based system in this country where if i have a particular illness or a particular disease or a particular comorbidity, et cetera, et cetera, my insurance premiums will be higher. Now, it might not be that it's my fault that I actually have a particular illness, but I still have to pay for that particular insurance policy being higher. Now, I don't want to make... So what insurance policy? Are you talking about travel insurance? But, but No, but 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 that's but travel insurance is, 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 a, is a little bit like that. I, look, I don't want to make direct these binary decisions and comparisons what i'm trying to say for me i think the whole issue about this compulsory system and, and in a sense if you want not, not making people be required to do something we, you're right we've had vaccines um half the population or more have been vaccinated if a person wants to have a certificate or a passport because they feel better for having it or they feel more secure having that, that facility well so be it but i don't think we should be going down the path of compulsory. I, 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 if you all do respect, society, Peter, I think you're then, you are doing a classic Keir Starmer here, and you're sitting on the fence. I'm not do sitting you, on the this fence. is um, which is one of the biggest sort of moral, ethical issues facing our country going forward as we come out of this authoritarian lockdown, and and Labour a bit sort of oh but, well on one but, hand and on the other hand. Do you believe in anything anymore? You're not listening to what I said. I am listening to everything you've no. said. No, not, you're not listening to what I said. What I said is I don't believe that they should be compulsory. I, I know you said that, and I've just pointed they out they can end up being compulsory no, by the well, back door. All sorts of things could end up being all sorts of other things. Look, I don't believe that if I want to go into a pub, I should be required to produce a certificate or a passport. I agree with you on that one. 
But <laughs> if the publican is told, if you well, don't do this, which you're free to choose not to do, you'll go under because we'll insist on social distancing for the rest of time, even when we've got no one dying of COVID at all, um, then, then, then it is coercion. It is mandatory by the back door. It's just not yes. official. Well, that, that's that. I, am I and you're ex- saying you're OK with that because you want no, to sit I, on the no, fence no, and not come down one no, side I'm or the other not, on a moral issue. I, no, I'm not saying that. I've just said to you that I don't believe that that should be the case. I don't think there should be that level of coercion because you don't know where that level of coercion then actually so, is. OK, so so not only so you don't want the government to bring it in as mandatory, but you also want the government then to prevent pubs from doing it and not require pubs that don't do it or retail or any other organ football matches, concerts, whatever it is, that they, they're not, there's not going to be a difference between if you have vaccine passports, you don't socially distance, and if you, do, if you don't have them, you do. You, you wouldn't endorse that happening. Well, I don't think that the government should require anybody to do, to do anything of that, to that level because it's a slippery slope. And, and so in that regard, uh, in that regard, I, but I do, I look, I do recognise that people have difference of opinion on this particular one, but I, but I come down on the side not sitting on the fence, I come down on one side that there shouldn't be compulsory certificates or passports, and you shouldn't require okay. people to have to produce them if they need to go into some sort of into into a pub or some sort of social venue. And look, look, by the what is it, the seventeenth of May, we're gonna be able to go and eat in a restaurant. Well the government aren't gonna have certificates in by the middle of May requiring it it's just I suspect practically, logistically if I trip over a restaurant in the end of you know middle of middle of May, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth of May, whatever the the, the 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 time is, the idea that I'll have a certificate and that that company will require me or the government will require me to have a certificate, or they'll the, that company that restaurant will say to me, "Well, you're not coming in if you don't have a certificate," I think is pretty okay. slim. Okay, well, but again, the, the concern is that when they do get around to doing this, if they do get away with it, that uh, that they they will bring it in by the back door, and therefore you can only stop the social distancing and make a living if you uh, if you do uh, have these rules and you do require vaccine passport proof. But we shall see what happens down the line. We'll see what happens in that vote if it ever does come to Parliament.